G'day everyone, Sean here. Last year I tackled this yard in a three part series on this channel. I said that I would continue maintaining this yard and give you guys an update a few months later. Well, here it is folks. I felt the best way to present this so that you could appreciate the transformation would be to show all the videos together along with the current progress. If you enjoyed this series the first time around, I assure you that you will enjoy the updates throughout this video. The backyard in particular was an absolute beast but we've managed to regain control of the vines and it's looking great. I look forward to reading your thoughts about this one, so please feel free to share those in the comments. Have a great day, see you later.
Today working with me is my mate Tyler from Hunter Valley Grass. If you love watching meticulous and satisfying yard cleanups, go give his channel Mowing for Mental Health some love. I'll leave the link to that one in the description. So what we have here is a beautiful rose bush, but if you look down here, it's not so beautiful. Have a close look at that, it's pretty gnarly. Big piece going in there. Looks like a lot of it's sort of broken off and dead. Now, roses can be quite invasive if they're not maintained. This is not gonna be maintained once we're done here. Not with any level of ease anyway. So I just spoke to the client and just for future proof in the place, we're just going to cut it back to a stump. It's a practical decision as opposed to an aesthetic one. They are some big thorns. Some good progress in there.
we need to call it there for the day because there's a whole lot of green waste that I need to get to the tip before it closes. Grubby looking mowing job, but that's not the final pass, not by far. I'm not going to make it nice and perfect today because tomorrow we're going to go ahead and weed these garden beds and we'll be pulling a lot of grass out and making a bit more of a mess.
Check this out. This dark bit. That's some sort of power cable, maybe a TV antenna. And it's got vines going all through it. It's a little bit higher than I'm comfortable climbing up there and playing with and it's all dangling on that power cable there or whatever this cable is. So I've cut it off from the root down there so that should die off in its own time and pretty harmless now, it's been rendered innocuous so I'm just going to leave that.
look, the whole thing has a weed mat under it, Sean. It doesn't work, you know, like it works short term, but in long term, Sean, what happens is vegetation grows on top. This gets buried a foot under the ground, never decays, and it's just, just lit up. We use the, uh, the cardboard too after you clear all that out. Yeah. This is as far as we got today. We didn't have as long as we usually would. It's a Monday and Tyler and I had other things on this morning. So yeah, we've made this much progress. We're gonna get some plants down here and this is gonna look nice. And then tomorrow we'll be able to get started on that bit behind the gate. So one of the other jobs that I have for this client, I'm going to try and fix this gate so that she can park her car on the other side of the fence so it's safe and secure. Also, once it's all cleared out around there, like around in the yard, which I'll show you in a little while, um, it'll be easier access for this person so she doesn't have to walk up and down the steps to get in the house. She can just park her car behind this gate, secure it, and then enter the house that way. The problem here, is that it's had a dodgy repair and this bit here doesn't close there's about a gap of about sort of that much and uh yeah it just won't shut so she's had to tie it up which is a real nuisance and having a look here these hinges are massive gaps and it's similar on the other side i have no doubt just looking at that it should be easy enough just to undo these ones 
and move the gate this way a little bit while still having enough clearance for these hinges to move. Okay, so that was easy enough to undo. The plan from here is just to move these holes half a centimetre that way for the hinge and the same down there. Let's do that. Excellent. Okay, we can't go any further that way. And there's still not enough clearance for this gate to shut. But looking over here, there's a big gap. So we can just do the same thing here that we did on that side. Okay, so we're good to go here. One of the problems with this gate was that it had been snapped off in here and they'd done a dodgy sort of repair down here. And so that bracket had sort of snapped and this whole bit had gone that way. And so we had to do a little bit of panel beat to get this broken bit that way. And similar sort of thing over here. We really just used what we had. And, but now it's opening and closing. Look at that. I had to move these down out of the way because the dodgy brackets are already there. We had to relocate them to pull this that way. But now we have a functioning gate. It's not pretty, but it's solid and now the client can use it safely and easily.
So that's an old fig tree, it's a time of year for it and because a lot of it was dead, Tyler's just given that a hard prune back. Uh, you see it's got a bit of green so that'll come back to life. This whole area has been hit with glyphosate or Roundup at some point in the past. One of those legless lizards. Yeah. Yeah. Crikey. She's a beauty. There, there. You're all right, darling. You're all right. All right, come on. Get out of here, bro. Come on. Yeah, he's a stink. He's got legs. Yeah. This is completely blocked. I'm not even going to concern myself about this. Mate, even if I get to the bottom, there'd be dirt completely filled it.
I think it's safe to say we have our work cut out for us on this one. Again with the old saying, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? We're just going to go ahead and eat this elephant one bite at a time. Starting right here. And I think the smartest thing to do would be to clear this bit out. So that way we have a little bit of space where we can sort of drop stuff as we pull it out of there. And also, look who's back. Tyler, Hunter Valley Grass. Check out Mal for Mental Health. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Let's get to it. I'm going to show you one of the reasons why I don't take my ride on mowers through yards like this. Now in case it's not obvious, I didn't even know that concrete curb was there, or that one. And as I was pushing a Honda up onto it, I felt the block immediately. Imagine if I'd taken a $10,000 plus mower straight onto that thing. Wouldn't have ended well. Also, check this out. I've never seen anything like this. Well, I have, just not quite in this capacity. This is a mountainous task ahead of us. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Just don't put your fingers near its face. Little fella. That's a blue tongue lizard. So I'm just going to take it to a nice shady spot over here.
no pun intended, this is wild.
Big pile of wood stone, small pile of wood going.
Definitely right plant that somewhere. All this and more, I just pulled off the roof.
Well, who'd have known that was there?